In this video, I will show you how to turn text and images into long AI videos by using a next generation AI named Pixverse. First, we need to go to pixverse.com. The link will be in the description below. The first thing we have to do is to come right here and click on Get Started in Web. Here we have to choose how we are going to sign up. Once we signed up, we will be brought here to the Pixverse dashboard. We are currently in the Popular Videos tab. Here we can see all the popular generations of the community. And if we like one, this one for example, we can click on it. And this opens this tab where we can see the prompt that was used, the image and all the other settings used in this generation, like the motion strength, the seed number, and the quality. Also up here we have the option to click on the retry button and generate this video again with the same settings. We can also click on upscale and upscale the resolution of the video. And we can click on go create which will take us to the editor where we can make changes to the settings of our video. Finally, we can add this video to our favorites by coming right here and clicking on this heart. And we also have the option to download it by coming all the way down here and clicking on the download button. Now let's close this tab and let's take a look at the other tabs of Pixverse. Next to the popular videos tab is the my videos tab where all our generated videos will be. Next to it is the my collection tab where all the videos we add to our favorites go. And next to that is the character tab where we can create a character which we can use in multiple videos by simply referencing his name. I will show you exactly how later in the video. Now over here to the right, we have our credits, which in the free plan we get 50 each day and we start with 150. Keep in mind that one generation takes 10 credits out of your balance. And next to them is the Create button, where when we click, it brings us to the Pixverse editor. To the right we can see all the videos we have generated, and to the left is the editor. As you can see, we currently are at the text option, so let's create a video by only using text. Here in the prompt bar, we need to type what we want to see in our video generation. For example, I will type create a blonde woman that is outside while it is raining. She looks very happy with a smile on her face, beautiful colors. Then we have the negative prompt where we type what we don't want to see in our generation. So I will type deformed hands, multiple fingers, river. Then we have the inspiring prompt to duo clips, which if we turn on will let the AI help with our prompt. I will leave it off for this example. Then we can select the style of our video. We can choose Realistic, Anime, 3D Animation, CG. I will select Realistic for this example. Then we can select the aspect ratio of our video. I will leave it at 16 by 9. And down here we have the seed number, which is a unique number of our generation, which can be used to reference our video in a new generation. After we are done with the settings, we simply come down here and click on Create. And now we simply wait a little bit for our generation to be finished. And boom, look at this. And if we click on top of the video, we can enlarge it to take a better look at it. The AI did a great job. We have a blonde woman that is smiling at the camera exactly as we prompted. Now, if we like the video, we have the option to upscale the video by coming right here and clicking on upscale. We can also add it to our favorites and download it by clicking on the download button down here. Now let's close this tab and let's come back to the editor. Now let's select image and create a video with an image as a guide. The first thing we have to do is to come down here and click. Now we choose the image we want to upload and click on open. I uploaded this picture of Iron Man that I have. Then we come down here to the prompt bar. On this type of generation, writing a prompt is not mandatory. If we don't write a prompt, the AI will simply create movement in the picture however it sees fit. But for this example, I will write a prompt. I will type slight movement back and forth. Then down here we have the camera motion settings where you basically can choose how the camera will capture the video. You can change the horizontal and the vertical length. You can adjust the roll and the zoom. You can do that by sliding this dot on the length of the bar. I don't want any specific camera settings, so I will leave them all at zero. Then we have the motion strength, which is the parameter which indicates how much movement there will be in our generation. The higher you have this, the more movement, and the lower you have this, the less movement will be on the video. For this generation, I will put this around the middle. Then we have the seed number, which I will leave as it is. Then we have the option to turn HD quality on. I will personally leave it off because it increases the generation time. And if you like the generation, you always have the option to upscale it anyway. So after we are done with the settings, 
we will simply come right here and click on Create. Now we wait until our generation is finished. And boom, our generation is finished. Let's click on it and get a better look. Wow, this looks amazing. The Iron Man movement looks very natural and is not much, exactly as we wanted. Down here we can see all the settings of our generation, and if we like the generation we can upscale and download it. For now, I will just add it to my favorites, and I go back to the editor to show you the last function of Pixverse, which is generating a video with a specific character. So we simply come right here and click on character. Now the first thing we need to do is to scroll down here to where it says character and left click in order to select our character. But as you can see, we don't have any characters to select from. So in order to add characters, we come right here to the plus icon and left click. This brings us to the character tab, which if we go back to the editor, we can also access by coming up here and clicking on the character tab. And then we click on create character. Now we need to upload an image of our character. So we will come down here where it says upload and click there. Now we will select the image of the character we want to create. I will upload this one. And here we can see the image we just uploaded. Now we need to come up here and name this character. For this example, I will name her Sarah. Then type and style are automatically set so we don't have to change anything. And now we simply come down here and click on create character. All right, we just created our first character. Now we need to go back to create and then to character. We can see that in the character option, our new character, Sarah, is selected. Now we come up here to the prompt bar where we need to type what we want to see in our generation. This time, let's really test the capabilities of Pixverse's AI. Let's change the background and the expression completely to see how consistent the character will be. So I will type, make her be outside her house in a big city and give a slight smirk at the camera, beautiful colors. Then we have the auto character prompt option, which if we leave it on, it allows the AI to enhance the consistency of our character. I will leave it on for this generation. Then we have the negative prompt where I will type deformed hands and limbs being inside a house. Then we select the aspect ratio. I will leave it at 16 by nine. I will pick a random seed number and then I will come down here and click on create. Now we wait for our generation to be finished. And boom. Let's enlarge the video and look at it. And as you can see, if we put the original picture next to this girl, they look really similar. But remember that even if you are not satisfied with the generation, you can always regenerate it and get a slightly different result. If this video helped you out, give it a like and comment something down below. And if you want to learn how to use other text to video generators, click at one of these videos right here.